The formula to calculate the future value of an ordinary annuity is future value equals the payment amount times the quantity, 1 plus the annual rate divided by the number of compounding periods per year, raised to the number of compounding periods per year, times the time in years, minus 1, divided by the quantity, the annual rate, divided by the number of compounding periods per year. Here is the formula with all the variables listed. And one extremely important note. To use this formula, the interest compounding periods must match the payment periods. When the periods don't match, we need to change the compounding periods to match the deposit periods. For instance, yearly, semi-annually, or quarterly. And again, this is extremely important. As an example, let's say that someone deposits $3,000 at the end of each year for four years into an investment earning 7% compounded yearly. What is the future value of the annuity? Since the compounding periods, yearly, match the deposit periods, also yearly, we can just plug into the formula. So plugging into the formula, we have future value equals $3,000 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.07, the decimal value of 7%, divided by 1, raised to the 4 times 1, minus 1, divided by 0 0.07, divided by 1. Here are all the steps with all the calculations written out. And we end up with $3,000 times 4.439943 rounded off. And this calculates to $13,319.83 rounded off. Now, as another example, for when the payment periods do not match the compounding periods, let's say this time that someone deposits $3,000 at the end of each year for four years into an investment earning 7% compounded quarterly. What is the future value of the annuity? So the interest compounding periods are quarterly and the payment periods are yearly. We need to get the compounding periods to match the payment periods. To do this, we need to convert the nominal interest rate of 7% to the effective rate. And the formula for this is effective annual rate equals the quantity 1 plus the annual rate divided by the number of compounding periods per year raised to the number of compounding periods per year minus 1. And plugging into the effective rate formula, I've done all the calculations on the screen. We get the effective rate equals 7.1859% rounded off. And now we can calculate the future value of the annuity using the main formula. We have future value equals $3,000 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.071859, the ER or effective rate, divided by 1, raised to the 1 times 4, minus 1, divided by the quantity 0 0.071859, divided by 1. The calculations are on the screen, and this ends up calculating out to $13,356.54. If we compare this to the previous problem, the annuity that compounds quarterly has a higher future value, and that makes sense because of more compounding periods. Now one last example. This time someone deposits $500 at the end of each month, again for four years. The yearly rate is still 7% and is compounded quarterly. What is the future value of the annuity? So again, the compounding periods do not match the payment periods. And what we need to ultimately do is convert the yearly interest rate to a monthly rate to match the deposit periods. And to do this, we have to first convert the interest rate to the effective yearly rate, then second, convert it to the nominal rate. Here again is the formula to convert it to the effective rate. And here's the formula to convert the effective rate to the nominal rate. So first to convert the effective rate, we have effective rate equals the quantity 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 4 raised to the 4 minus 1. The calculations are on the screen and we get effective rate equals 0 0.071859. Same as the last example. Now for the nominal rate. We have nominal rate equals 12, the number of compounding periods. It is 12 because we need to match the monthly deposits times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.071859 raised to 1 divided by 12 minus 1. Again, I've done the calculations on the screen and we get the nominal rate equals 0 0.069-595-561. And now we can calculate the future value of the annuity using the main formula. We have future value equals $500 times the quantity 1 plus 0 0.069-595-561 divided by 12, the number of deposits in compounding periods raised to 12 times 4, minus 1, divided by the quantity 0 0.069-595-561, divided by 12. 
Here are all the calculations written out on the screen, and this calculates to $27,581.86. And that is how you calculate the future value of an ordinary annuity. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.